Today is Tuesday, 27th of July, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is a compelling desire for change. Our theme scripture is taken from James 5 and 16 of the Amplified Classic, and it says, The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its walking. Hallelujah. Any kind of positive change in my desire is possible in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. Pastor begins. Looking through the scriptures, you'd find examples of people who were desperate for a change and what they did. You too can learn what they learned, act as they did, and get what they got. Take Hannah, for example. For many years, she remained childless until she decided she must have a miracle. She went into the house of the Lord, fell on her face before God and prayed, made a vow, and prevailed. Hallelujah. How compelled are you to change your financial status? How compelled are you to change your health situation? How compelling is your desire to move to the next level and experience the supernatural in your daily walk, in your ministry, academics, business, or career? Oh, Pastor says, success and progress in any area requires very simple and basic principles. One of such is a strong, compelling desire. Let your desire be strong enough to compel you to take the right and necessary actions. In Mark 5, 25 to 29, we see another striking example of an actualized desire for change. It's the account of the woman with the issue of blood who, having suffered for 12 long years, made up her mind to receive a miracle. Compelled by her desire, she pressed through an impossible crowd to get to Jesus defying the injunction that forbade her from having physical contact with other people. The hemorrhage she suffered made her ceremonially unclean. Therefore, she stood the risk of being stoned to death if found in public, following the Jewish law of the day, as you find in Leviticus 15, 25-27. Glory to God. However, her desire for freedom, for her healing, compelled her to act her faith and she got a miracle. Glory to God. In Mark 9.23, Jesus said, All things are possible to him that believeth. So, it makes no difference where you are in your life today. Anything is possible. Act on God's word. Act your faith and be absolute about the result that you want. And it shall be so, Pastor concludes. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take our prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me. Thank you, dear Father, for my triumphant life in Christ. I am a success. I walk in victory, divine wisdom, and the dominion of the Spirit because my faith is active and I see and live by the true light of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Okay, for further study, please read Luke 18, 1 to 8, Hebrews 11, 32 to 33, and Mark 5, 25 to 29. Glory to God.